Hi, I'm Jonathan Elders, I'm 43, uh, my day job, I'm an artist, and I like windsurfing. So I got into windsurfing back in the 90s. I was kind of an impressionable early teens, Point Break was on in the cinema, everything was about extreme sports in the 90s, and I was living down in North Berwick by the coast. So I thought this is my way to get into an extreme sport. So this is the kind of intermediate board. It's totally beaten up and I bought it second hand. It cost me about £60 in three months of sales. Um, and it's had to get patched up several times, but it totally does the job. So that's quite a good board for different weather and different conditions. If you look out today, it's actually not bad today. You got about 17, 18 miles an hour of wind. Uh, the only issue with today is the wind's coming from the south, which means it's kind of coming from onshore and blowing offshore. And the real kind of issue of that is that all the land mass and the trees and buildings create a bit of a wind shadow. But, I mean, it's windy, so I'm looking forward to going out and having fun. There's a couple of guys out already. Um, yeah, any sport like this, sometimes you just got to make do of what you've got. And there's a lot of that when you come down here. To windsurf, you don't have to be particularly fit, especially if you do it regularly, it will make you very fit. It also uses your whole body a lot more than people might realise. You really work your arms and your legs and your back and your core especially. The thing about windsurf is it feels amazing. Kind of really good mix of feeling empowered because you're charging around um, and amongst all these kind of great big waves and things which you're riding. But then at the same time you're feeling really small because you're vulnerable to elements when you're flying along and you're body's being lifted up by the sail and the board skimming over the water it is really exciting and it's a really good way to connect with nature. It's a great chance to escape, to get out away from people in the elements and then you get out in the water, you feel the power in your sail, if you've got good gust you just take off and you absolutely fly over the water at high speeds like you're overtaking seabirds, you're overtaking everything and it's just really empowering but like I say at the same time you're out in the middle of it so you do feel small and the wind's in charge the sea's in charge it's kind of like a bit of an agreement and a cooperation between all three of you what's going to happen especially when it's wavy there's like a contradiction there but i really like the contradiction between kind of feeling empowered and feeling small at the same time being reminded of your tiny little place <laughs> 